Today, we are joined with another familiar face. It's Spencer Lee. We had like guys like trying to hold him from leaving the room and I'm trying to leave the room. Wait, I don't even know if I can say this. Maybe cut this out if you can't. Okay. But very nice job. Oh. How cool is that? And then excuses are for wusses. Yeah, I'm wrestling with no ACLs. Excuses are for wusses. Gable Stevenson is in Iowa. Hey, okay. listen, I don't know anything about anything. Why didn't you wrestle the rest of NCAA's? Oh, I hate losing way more than I like winning. That's for sure. That's what makes Spencer Lee the toughest man on the planet. Welcome back to the Clash of Combat podcast. Today, we are joined with another familiar face. It's Spencer Lee. How's it going? How you guys doing? Thanks for, thanks for having me, man. Appreciate yeah. It. No, this is fun. This is absolutely... I know Crosby wants to ask the first question because we had a little discussion about oh, who was going to say goodness. this question. <laughs> well, we've all seen the leaks. They're everywhere. Gable Stevenson is in Iowa. Or he was in Iowa last week. Is that true or is that just Cap? No, he was in the room. Was he getting workouts in? No, he, he was coming to visit his girlfriend. She lives in, like, Dubuque or something. Oh, really? Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, I, I, th I think we're looking for a little more than that or something. <laughs> no, I, I, was, uh, I walked in the room, and he was, in, he was, like, wrestling with Cassiope, and I was like, what the heck are you doing here? And he's like, oh, yeah, my girlfriend lives in Dubuque. I'm coming to visit her. Yeah. He goes, I was just in town. Come, oh. come to say, like, what's up? Man, well, that's that. That is so... Oh, man. Yeah, Cro maybe Crosby's wishing a little bit more for... Yeah. <laughs> hey, I, okay. hey, listen, I don't know anything about anything. Dude. I just, <laughs> I was, like I said, I was in Japan for like a month. I came yeah. back and I did doing camps. I don't even know what's going on. Well, let's talk about that. You went to Tokyo, Japan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, why did you go out there and what did you do? Well, I kind of went for just like a break and some vacation. And, you know, obviously I, I went to visit and my buddy Takto, Oduguru. I wanted to see him. He's super busy, though. You know, he's getting ready. He just made his world team. So in Japan, like if you make the world team and then you medal, then you're on the Olympic team next year. So this was like basically their Olympic trial. So it was like a big deal. So he was super busy. Okay. So I only got to see him once. And I wanted to train with him, but like he trains like in a military place. So like I said, they don't have like train centers like we a do. A Japanese military place? Yeah, so, like, so they have to have like sponsors when you're out of college. That's how they survive. Like that's like their job. So they get hired like at a company and that company like sponsors them. So then okay. their job is to wrestle, but they still have to go to like the company and like do some stuff. But like he got sponsored by the military. Okay. So, like, he gets paid by them to wrestle, but I couldn't go there because it was the military. You have to be in the country mm. for, like, a month before they could, like, get you access in there. I wasn't there for that long. Yeah. So, I wasn't able to, like, go train with him because I wanted to wrestle with him, and he wanted to wrestle with me, but, like, he, he he's not he's not allowed to, like, go anywhere else to, like, break strict. So, I, I just, I got to see him, got to go eat with him, but, like, so that was unfortunate. I mean, he would have whooped on me, but <laughs> it would have been fun. <laughs> did you roll around at all there? I did a little bit, yeah. I went to two different colleges. Um just because uh, the, the host I was staying with, like, kind of set them up. I was supposed mm -hmm. to go to just watch. Like I said, mm -hmm. I'm not, like, I wasn't, like, healthy or anything to wrestle. But, like, they, were, they like, begging me to wrestle. So it was kind of fun. I got to wrestle with, like, Yui Sasaki, okay. who's, like, Olympic champ woman wrestler. I got to wrestle some, like, uh, guys who are, like, top three or four in the country at, like, 61 and 57 kilos. Just, like, for a little bit. I mean, I just walked off the mat after a while just because, like, like I said, they're, they're, like, running at me trying to, like, train. Like, sure. I, I, like, oh. hadn't trained in, like, 30 days. Walked mm. on the mat for like 25, 30 minutes and just like walked off. I was like, I'm not, I'm not here to train. I'm here for vacation, you know. Like <laughs> when when you were there, did anyone like recognize you and be like, oh, Spencer Lee? I actually did one time. I was in Tokyo Station, so like in America, I get recognized kind of fairly often. Um, Every time you go out, pretty. I mean, not, not <laughs> here maybe. <laughs> yeah, in Iowa for sure. I mean, I, I mean, it was kind of funny. Um, I mean, I've actually been recognized everywhere I've ever gone, like, in the, the country. Every time I go somewhere, wow. it's, like, random. Like, yeah. if you're a wrestler, I mean, it's a small community. Yeah. It's not like I'm saying, like, I'm famous or anything. I'm definitely not. But, like, if you're a wrestler, no, you, like, you I'm in sure the, in the world, I look, you know, it's easy to easy to recognize. You know, if you see Jordan Burroughs walk around, oh. you're, you're going to recognize Jordan, yeah. right? So, but it's a small community. So, um, it was nice, like, to be in Japan and, like, have no one have any idea who I am. Okay. But I was walking to Tokyo Station, and I was alone for the first time, like, trying to, like, meet up with a, a guy I met who's a wrestler. Um at like St. Mary's, which is like an international school there in Japan. He was like a graduate and he was going to show me around, uh, uh, Yokohama, which is like a prefecture in Tokyo. And, uh, and it's like a super awesome place. This guy's going to show me around. So I'm walking around I'm lost, right? It's Metro systems the whole time. You, you're on trains, like you walk everywhere. You don't drive. Taxis are super expensive. And, uh, I'm like lost and I'm walking around. Some dude like looks at me and I, I thought, oh shoot, he can tell I'm lost. Like I, I was like, I don't want this guy. So he starts walking towards me. I was like, no, 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 I don't want to worry. I don't want like, cause I don't speak Japanese. And he yeah. goes, are you Spencer Lee? And I was like, I was like, no way. The funny part is he said he went to Iowa for a year and uh, for like grad school. So that's why he was able to recognize me just cause he's like a big sports okay. fan. So it yeah. was like, not like an actual like Japanese person recognized me, but like, it was like, he's obviously like Japanese, but like he went 
lived in America for a little bit. So that was kind of fun. That was the one time I got recognized in Japan. So I was, I was like, wow, that's kind of cool. How far around the country, you know, or yeah. the world. I mean, and so that was kind of cool. But I, it was nice, like being anonymous in a yeah. country and have no idea who did I was. You, did you learn any Japanese? Uh, I mean, like, I was actually starting to understand Japanese, like, a little bit when people would speak to me, but I, I can't speak anything back. I mean, I can say some words, like, if I was, especially if I was there, <laughs> yeah. like, they would speak to me and they would want me to try and speak some things back in Japanese, like, the host I was staying with, because they were all bilingual. Yeah. But, uh, so that was really cool. Japanese is really cool. I've also watched, like, a lot of anime, so, like, and sure. I watch it in Japanese, so, like, I actually recognize a lot of words. They were kind of li- making fun of me, because I would, like, recognize random words <laughs> with that they would say, but I can't, like, obviously, like, have a conversation or anything, yeah. but I would love to learn Japanese. I mean, my, my my, my dream would be to learn Japanese and French. That would be like the two languages I'd want to learn. Why okay. French? Well, I'm French, so like I my oh. family in France, so. Oh, that's yeah, yeah. Cool. So like when my grandmother FaceTimes my mom or something, she can only speak in French. Um, I can understand French pretty well. So when mm. she speaks to me, I problem is I answer back in English. She oh. can't understand <laughs> yeah. that, right? So um, uh, when my mother has to translate, it's kind of annoying. I, yeah. I'm like almost disappointed in myself that I. You know, don't speak language yeah. of my, you know, my, my family a little bit. But. Dude, I think that's the hardest thing to learn is multiple languages. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, especially, yeah. Especially now when you're older. Like, it's different when you're younger because, you, yep. you know, you're more susceptible to learning things and Absolutely. picking things up. I couldn't imagine picking up a language right now. Uh, I think I think it's just like a um, – it's just a dedication thing. Like, mm. I, I bet if uh, you wrote sentences down every day and just like, like everyday uses of languages, like how you say things all the time, that's yeah. kind of – so like in Japan, like I would – conversations would be very similar all the time so i would actually like be able to like understand them but mm-hmm. I, again i'd have to speak in english um so it's kind of like that in french as well you can do the same thing if you write them down and you did that every day for like a year or two and then you went and lived in the country if you live in the country like if i lived in france for like six months i bet i'd be fluent but mm-hmm. japan it'd take me a lot longer like okay. japanese is a very hard language i would never now reading japanese that's different that Dude, don't they me- read like bottom right to upper left so yeah, they read they read right to left rather than no way. Yeah, yeah I think yeah, it's yeah, on yeah. the bottom too when they read up. No, 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 it's just no? right to left. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and they, that's they so weird. So it's just yeah, reading it's a like, book backwards. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Well, to the, to us, the, English be reading backwards, yeah, yeah. not. So I mean, so to them, it's normal. Like just that's just how it is. Um, but got, yeah, they have three different alphabets too. So what? Yeah, Dude, yeah. That, that's way too much Kanji, language. That's, Gana, I'm, I'm so confused. <laughs> I mean, Just, that's kind of like a superpower if you know every language. Like, think about all the people you can talk to. Oh, that'd be unbelievable. Dude, that'd be like, crazy. that'd be a cool wish. Be like one wish. Yeah. Could speak any language that's like ever existed ever. That'd be kind of cool. How long was your flight over there? So I went, I flew to Chicago and then it was a 12 and a half hour flight to Tokyo from Chicago. It was like direct. It was kind of nice. Yeah. yeah Are you yeah. scared of flights? No, I've been flying since I was like a baby. So like, and I've been flying alone uh, since I was like 12. So. Dang. My first time ever flying alone, I was like 12 years old going to like Olympic Train Center. So like I, I've been, planes don't scare me. Like yeah. what are you gonna, what are you supposed to do? What are, yeah. you, what are you afraid of? If it does crash, like how are you supposed to stop <laughs> yeah, exactly. that? Exactly. Like you just, you well just you can jump your... when it crashes. Oh, you yeah. just jump a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you, you would insta die. But uh, <laughs> I would rather just sit in the seatbelt and like hope hope that I don't die. But yeah, so now I, when people are afraid, I get it. Like you're going in the air, it's scary. But like I've never been. To me, it's like same. What are you supposed yeah. to do? Yeah, right. You can only like, control what you can control, and that's not yeah. something you can control. Exactly. You know what I mean? So it applies to life. <laughs> you can control what you can control. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a big thing in Iowa too. They they talk about that all the time. So they're always like, Spencer, you can control. Uh, only control what you can control. So yeah. Nice. Well, with that, uh, the guy that you were living with, going back to like the military thing, uh, yeah. did he actually like? Did he work for the military, or is it just straight up wrestling? Oh, uh, so that's the thing. Like, it's kind of tough. I'm sure he has to do some stuff. Uh, it's Japan. They're very strict. I'm yeah. sure they have a lot of, like, prerequisites and requirements that he has to do. But I would assume that his main go- job is just to wrestle. I mean, he's an Olympic champ. Uh, he's going for a second Olympic gold medal next year. He's a freak, you know. Wow. He's, that's like, always cool. been the best since he was a kid in Japan. Like, they've always known. They've, like, babied him every step of the way because he's mm. always been the best. I mean, he was by far the favorite in my bracket in Cadet Worlds, like 2014 or whatever. He was really good. I even knew who he was because I was, like, looking up things, and he would just, like, won everything. Yeah. You know, so, like, I remember when I saw him in the weigh-in line, I re- that's kind of why I was, like, trying to talk to him because I was like, this is the guy I got to beat, you know. <laughs> yeah. And it was just kind of cool that we ended up becoming friends. And then we kept saying, let's meet in the finals because the bracket came out, and we were on the opposite sides. I was, like, on the top because it's randomly drawn back in the day. So, and he was, like, at the bottom. So, yeah, it was kind of cool. There's no seeds back then? Back then, you just literally pushed a button of 1 to 100, and it just shot you in the bracket. And the top, it was, like, the top eight guys would get a bye the first round, and then everyone else would be on the bottom side of the bracket. 
That's wild. Wow. Yeah, so you, you, can't, have, you can't do that anymore. No, I don't <laughs> know how. I think I think they, they see top four now. Yeah. At uh, the senior level, I have no idea about age group. Sure. I'm too old for that now. So. Mm. <laughs> I, I want to take a step back. Talk more like on the wrestling side. Absolutely. Um, you know, th- this this is a, I guess the biggest question that maybe people are still having, and that is why didn't you wrestle the rest of NCAA's? You know, it's like a it's a lot of it's a lot of like uh, you know things that were happened to me. It's like you know mental, physical. Like I was just like messed up. I like I like pretty much couldn't compete. You know, um, after that, you know, I, I wanted to. It was just really really hard. Um, it was just kind of like a uh, team decision. Because um, at the end of the day, no one really knows how bad you are hurting, and that's the thing that no one <laughs> really understands. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think you give yourself. Okay. Do Do you think you don't give yourself as much credit? are saying like, dude, like I'm not healthy. Like, yeah, well, I mean, I, I mean, I've never been healthy, um, but that's okay. You know, the thing is, it's like, it's a sport, it's a combat sport. No one's healthy at the end of the year. So I get why people were upset at me. And that's, that's, that's okay. There's nothing I can do about that. I mean, I was just trying to get ready for the world team next. Um, I was hoping to compete there. I, I, I didn't even know I could, to be honest. I mean, I ended up forfeiting out of that as well because I, I couldn't compete. I couldn't, I couldn't finish a tournament. What but, was the training leading up to the U.S. Open? Did you do I much at I all? I, I couldn't. Uh, I didn't wrestle or anything. It was just like maintain your weight, uh, oh. you know, mental <laughs> stuff Dude. like rehab, therapy. It's just been like the unhealthy curse, like ever since high school. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's I, been unfortunate, but I mean, nothing you can do about it. You know. I guess what what is that process? Are you? Do you think you're going to be 100 percent healthy at some point in your wrestling career? <laughs> I don't know. I hope so. I'm working <laughs> on it. <laughs> you know, it, is is that is that the next thing? You're literally just going to take a long break for as much as you need, do as much rehab. I'm just trying to figure I, out. I don't exactly. know what's going on right now. Like I said, I took a break and I'm back into training, mm-hmm. and uh, we're we're kind of like going day by day of what I can and can't do, and then uh, we'll figure it out. You know, there's nothing yeah. like. I mean, there's nothing to like rush to compete for right now because like the whole trial process won't start till like November, December. Mm-hmm. But I mean, there will be other tournaments internationally that hopefully I, I can compete in before that, um, just to get back into the competition mode, you know, kind of thing. Yeah, but we'll see how everything you know un- unfolds. It's been it's been it's been pretty tough. Obviously, like you said, people don't understand what you go through, and like I said, it's okay. I mean, they never will. They're not me, mm. um, and that's that's just how it is. And, and you know, I'm not, I'm not other people either. I can't understand how other people feel either. So it's just hard to like judge anyone. But yeah. I understand why people were frustrated, and that's okay. I mean, there's nothing I can do about that. I was just trying to do what was best for me. Yeah, and uh, I was trying to make a world team, and I, I wasn't ultimately unable to do to, to do that as well. So An- another bi- really big question I have is why do you think you have a higher expectation than like any other athlete because when, when i see you know someone else you know have a close match I, i've seen you talk about this before and you, you know your dad as well and it's just like why are you expected to be so good so good all the time and you know even if you win by 14 points it's like you're oh like what's wrong with spencer <laughs> why 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 is it just you i don't know i've always wondered the same thing just because i think it's put an unhealthy you know mental relationship with wrestling for me at some point you know like I would beat a guy thirteen to one or something, and I'd be telling myself I wasn't good and I'm, I suck or something. It's like negative, you know. Self talk is very, very, very unhealthy and bad. You should never do that. So it was like kind of tough, you know. Uh, I wasn't really worried about what other people thought, but like that, it kind of rubbed on me and like kind of like you know made me feel that way. Mm-hmm. I think inadvertently, I wasn't trying to be like that, but it definitely kind of happens. There's nothing you can do about it. Um, so I think that was tough just because, like, now the expectations was put upon myself or even higher than even I put them. Like, obviously, I want to score points and dominate, but the, the goal is to score points and dominate. It's not like if you don't score the points and dominate, you're a terrible wrestler and you should, like, mm. be angry or whatever. You should just try and do your best, you know, have fun, enjoy it. I think that took a lot of that away from me. Because, um, yeah, it would be frustrating that, like, I would text someone. They'd be like, well, that guy looked really good against him. Like, it's just like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> it's just like, I think the expectation was just because, like, I was dominant. Yeah. Um, and people, ex- when they see dominance of high-level wrestlers, they expect that every time out. Like, to mm-hmm. them, it's automatic. You know, I remember, I remember when I was at the Open, I wasn't healthy. I was trying to, like, compete. And there would be, like, 20 or 30 kids run up to you trying to make me sign stuff. And I'd be, like, in the hole. Oh. And I'm telling them, like, hey, I'm, I'm about to be up. I got to go. And the dad would be like, come on, just sign one thing. Really? I'm, I'm going, hey, like, I'm up in, like, two matches. Like, I'm, I need to, I, I have to get ready for this. And he'd be like, he'd be like, come on. You guys. What percent are, like, like <laughs> actually, like, good fan parents, like, with that? Like, are most good? Or is that just, or maybe all of them are like, like, sign this, sign this. Like, um, they're, they're always just, like, 
frustrated when I say no. Like I'll be like, hey, like when I'm done with my match, like I will come yeah. up here and sign whatever you want. But like, please, like, I couldn't I'm just imagine. trying to get ready. Like the coaches are trying to keep people away from yeah. me. And it's like I'm in my. I'm, I'll be like in my little. I'll be like sitting down, like getting ready, and like there'd be kids like poking me, like, "Hey, can you sign this?" I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like. Are you in the stands or on the floor? No, like so, like when you're at like the open and stuff, like you're just like kind of there. Like people can oh. just walk by you. Like there's really? nothing. There's nowhere to like hide. You know. Should something be done to change that? I don't know. Maybe you know, but it's just hard because like I was like I was like in a back corner. Like we had like our own little curtains and stuff, and people would just walk in our area, our camp area and just poke on me that's off. crazy like, serious yeah and it's like and i'm like trying to tell everyone like hey like this is not automatic like this is not easy for me like it might look easy yeah. like in some cases because the match might be quick it's not easy like you gotta be ready physically mentally like like you gotta warm up hard like there are things that like you have to do to like get ready yeah. for like a you know combat like situation yeah. Yeah. it's right? not like it's just a switch it's, yeah it's i don't just like process. walk out there and just, like, oh, <laughs> you know? so it's like um so sometimes it's frustrating because like i want people to, to to come up to me i want people to you know not worry about that not think they're gonna affect me and stuff mm -hmm. so like i try and do that but like at the same time there's a balance of like i need to like get ready like this is like the biggest thing in the world for me this is like my entire life like mm -hmm. my heart and soul goes into this like and and people are just like messing with me and like kind of like trying so like you, at the same time you can almost use it as like an edge like oh it doesn't it doesn't bother mm -hmm. me but like of course it's gonna like change you if like you're about to warm up and kids are like stopping your warm up by poking yeah. you and like or like you know like, that's like frustrating because you're like hey you gotta go and then the kid like goes up to dad and dad thinks Spencer's you know a, 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 like a douche or something you know <laughs> like and I'm like I'm sorry like please like I, I will come up here and I will stand here all day like. <laughs> After I'm done, like I will be here. I was like, I'll be here Saturday. Like I will stand. I'll be in the same area. Like I'm not gonna go anywhere. Like when I'm done competing, oh, but we're not gonna be here. Like you guys sign this now. Like <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, man. I, I I'm trying. You That's know. That's wild though. Yeah. That's just crazy. Like me and Caden saw Alexander Volkanovsky, and we're six feet away from him. We're too scared to even go up and talk yeah, to him. Yeah, yeah. And kids are. He's not even competing. You're competing and people are like just get going in your space and oh, that's yeah. like yeah. that's just insane to me. Yeah, yeah. It's it was just it was it was definitely tough because like at the same time I, I was you know I just forfeited out of nationals. People were like they were on me. Like I wasn't really supposed to go to the open. I kind of said hey let's just try you mm -hmm. know and I just went you know and then obviously it didn't work out and like so it was very frustrating. Um, you know the whole the whole situation was tough. So you know having stuff like that kind of like pester you and like people like. It's like uh, I always joke. I call it like you know. You ever seen like a, like show ponies? I was like I'm yeah. like a show pony. Yeah. Uh, like I'll look at the pretty well, pony. Doesn't like, it feel like you're like you're in a fish tank and they're tapping on the glass? Exactly. Yeah. So, sometimes like, I'm like an object. <laughs> hundred. <laughs> <laughs> no, and and that okay. It's completely different. Well, no, it actually might be the same. If you're just walking around and someone says like, "Oh my gosh, can I get a pic?" Like you know, you're you're expected to get a pic. You're expected to remain this image of whoever you are to them. It's like that parasocial person or. Er, parasocial relationship yeah, yeah is yeah. like you have no idea who they are but they know so much about you they've watched you you know <laughs> countless I was for 10 years you know yeah, <laughs> exactly i think it, it's so bad if they do that when you're actually competing and that people need to learn there's like levels to like how much of a fan how much you are expected to get from them if anything yeah i mean i have no problem with with people coming up to me and like i i love that stuff like i don't want people to think like no no he's he's he's, he's a jerk like don't go up to me no it's just like it's just like there's a time like like when i'm on the board and like i'm walking like I, I was like walking to my match and people were like grabbing me and like like oh. i'm like hey like i'm, I'm up no, oh i'm sorry i'm sorry like yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's okay like you know it's, but like that stuff like takes you know takes away from your like your edge like your mental you know yeah. if you let it i guess you shouldn't let it you know sure. see i'm trying to like yeah <laughs> rationalize, you know? but uh um yeah it's definitely it's definitely fun but uh yeah like i, I always joke like i'm like a show pony like people care about you and then you sign and they're gone they don't care about you anymore yeah. it's kind of how it is like i always joke because like i would be like uh, at a football game and I'll be walking like in the stands with like my teammates. They're like they want me to go or something. And um, people will like take a picture with me. And I remember one time, this is always like a joke I always make because my old roommate Anthony's a pretty attractive guy. Um, <laughs> and girls always ask him for like his Snapchat and stuff. Sure. I remember one time like there was like four girls. They all asked me for a picture. And then they asked my friend first to Snapchat. Like I'm oh, like I was like I'm an object, oh, right? Man, I was like I'm I'm the I'm the one that's like oh my god my dad loves you like we're gonna get <laughs> a picture on. with you. And then they're like hey are you single? And he's like. He's like, no, I got a girlfriend. He'd always lie, you know. He does now, but like before, he'd always lie, like, no, I got Damn. a girlfriend. So I'm like, I'm like an object, that right? Like sucks. I'm seen as this person that's like, it's cool to take a picture with, but like no one cares Damn. about me. Like I'm not saying I want like a the master for my Snapchat, yeah. but like, they didn't care <laughs> well, no, like, about yeah. as a guy. Like I don't, I'm not seen as like a as like a dude to them. Mm. Like I'm like this 
person and then it's like, oh, now that I'm done with him, like there's no reason. I to see. So I always joke, cause that's kind of how it feels. Okay. The Dopa Band is a resistance band used for building muscle and improving athletic performance. The unique thing about it is that it's longer, stronger, and more elastic than any other resistance band. With Dopa, you can work on strength, endurance, technical skills, and muscle growth. Dopa can be used as a portable multi-trainer that you can carry with wherever you go to even the most beautiful places in the world. Join Dopamino and the world's number one resistance bands with the largest online training center. And a word about our service, full one-year warranty with quick delivery to your home. If you don't like it, we'll give you your money back. Back. So there is no more excuses. Join Dopamino today to change your workout routine forever. How, yeah, so. how is your Riz? Riz? <laughs> oh, no, I don't, I, I don't got any Riz, man. I, <laughs> I, I had a girlfriend for like seven years, and then we ended up breaking up, and I've been single since then, so I haven't like really tried. I've never tried to be in a relationship since then. I've been single for almost four years now. So. Really? Yeah, yeah. I've Dude. been just focusing on wrestling and I'm a gamer. I'm kind of sure. a, I'm kind of lame. I kind of, <laughs> kind of live in my room, play video you games. Do. You know, <laughs> so like I don't really go out, so I don't meet anyone. So it's kind of hard to like have Riz, I guess. Sure. <laughs> you don't talk maybe to like any internet girls. Riz. Yeah, I don't have that either. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I definitely don't have that. No, Man. I don't. I'm too. I'm too. Uh, I'm too worried. I guess about like. If you like, do you ever been worried about DMing a girl? I mean, you have a girlfriend, obviously. But like, if you DM the girl, imagine like someone could like screenshot it and like post it oh, somewhere. No, like that, yes. that's something that's, that's like, a, that's I have, I have like a huge point. fear of. So like, I don't DM girls. Well, like, that's why you think like those the celebrities like you know uh, that happens how, to them though. Yeah. Oh yeah, exactly. You know, that, that's why. Oh, it's this like, guy DM me screenshot. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. like <laughs> <exposed. They try laughs> to... <laughs> Oh man, I, I'm, I'm like nah. I'd rather be single. I'd rather than try. You know, because next thing you know, you're like you know. DM and a girl you like, and it'll be posted on like the Iowa bars. You're like, Spencer's that's exactly after what this I'm girl. worried about. Or like uh, uh, dating apps. I've never had dating oh, apps because I yeah. can't. Like, I'm worried that, like, imagine if I had like a Tinder or whatever. Yeah. I don't know what other dating apps are, but Grinder. Gr- no, 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 no. Is that like a. It's a. It's a gay one. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I am straight. There's nothing wrong with being gay, but no, no, no. I, I, I'm, I'm heterosexual. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got this to say. Um, Wait, I don't even know if I can say this. Maybe cut this out if you can't. Okay. But um, on our team, as like a joke, we made like a grinder account for like our heavyweight. Oh no! And so like we put him on there, just being like <laughs> text <get> matches. <laughs> yes, you know he would. A ton, no way. Put his phone number on there, and people would be texting him. <laughs> well, I uh, um my freshman year, I did. I I uh, kind of made, reminds me. Um, my teammates put one of our buddies' phone numbers on like a site like okay. that, and he was getting calls all the time from dudes, really? and he was getting oh so mad. <laughs> they're like, they're like, are you free this Friday? And he's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so I saw your profile, and I don't even know what it was. It's so long ago now, yeah. I know. but that's funny. Is Those there like fun. a? Do you have like a time frame when like you would want to? Settle down and ah, uh, it's just been hard because, like I said, like uh, you know, I went from like basically almost being married to like nothing. Like I went from being like literally like married, hanging out with a person every day, like you know, looking at rings and stuff, like Gee, and to yeah. being single in college. Like I was like, uh, yeah. I've never talked to a girl. Like I've never, you know, I, I was like fifteen to twenty two. I was in a relationship, right? Yeah. I've never talked to a girl. I've never like been to a bar. I don't. I've never drank. Like, yeah. I don't, I've never been, like, in these situations where you meet people. Like, so I was kind of like, oh, I'll just play video games, I guess. Yeah. So that's kind of what happened to me. Back to asking chicks, what your, what's your favorite color? Yeah, what's your favorite color? <laughs> hey, no, that's, like, the worst thing ever, man. Yeah. I couldn't imagine. I see those yeah. TikToks. I'm like, dude, I could not. Dude. Yeah, no, you're, you're that, you man's that, wiped that, up. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, that's why I'm like, if, if I didn't have a girlfriend right now or maybe, like, a couple years ago, I don't know when. Because I, like, I you know, like just like you, I don't go to bars and do that whole party scene. Whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, And I, I wouldn't want to do it online. Maybe I would. Who knows, but. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. Dude. It's a tough game. <laughs> and it's the same thing. It's first girlfriend. Yeah. Oh, really? Wow, yes. wow, wow, wow. Yes. So, so thankfully, it's going good. Congrats, man. Thank that's you. Cool. <laughs> no, that's very rare in the, today's society. I have, like, oh, my high school yeah. girlfriend's like, oh, that's going to they gonna go to college. or going to, you know. Yeah. 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 So, that's pretty cool. Man. Well, uh, I just, this is kind of a complete change of topics. Sure. What do you think your biggest regret from your wrestling career is? Oh, that's tough. I've never, like, thought about that because, like, in my, I don't really... You might not have any. Well, you can't, like, you can't, like, actually think about regrets, you know, because then you'll, like, dwell upon them and it'll, like, affect you, you know? So, like, yeah. you kind of just have to say, like, whatever happened, happened, and that's happened because I did this, this, and that, and, like, you just have to accept it, you know? Mm. Like, that's it, end all, be all. Like, yeah, I'm sure there are things I wish I had done better or wish I had changed, but, like, at the end of the day, I can't change them now, yeah. and there's nothing I can do about it. So all I can do is, you know, take those instances in and try and improve for the future and that's it like you can't like see it as a regret yeah 
it's kind of how I think about it, you know? Because, yeah, like, sense. I think that that's, like, a very, very bad way of thinking. Yeah. Of having regrets. Like, oh, I wish I had done this. And, you know, and it's like, yeah, like, oh, maybe in high school, I wish I hung out with people. I had no friends in high school. Mm. I never hung out with anybody. But, like, same time, like, i thankful to be where I'm at, and I'm glad that I'm who I am and, you know, the program I'm at and whatnot. You know, that could have been because I was so focused on, you know, sport. You need Maybe if I had a bunch of friends and hung out a bunch, I might have not have been successful. You never know. Sure. So, like, you can't, like, let's see, like, you can go down the spiral yeah. you know, of negativity and, like, do, oh, Do yeah, you have anything but, you would have said to your younger younger self that you think would have helped oh, you um, right now? Probably. I mean, I, I think I think it would have been, like, you know, really find, like, a, how to eat properly, mm-hmm. I think, better. Um, my dad was really good with that. He would, like, force me. But I think it would have been interesting to, like, read books and learn, things like that. I also wish I would have learned languages like we yeah. talked about earlier i wish because i had a lot of free time i used to play like pokemon a lot that's yeah. like all i did yeah. wish i like you know learned french so i could speak to my grandfather before he passed you know my dad promised my mom when they got married because my mother's french if my, his kids would speak french like sure we would speak french and my sister and i we don't speak french so it's like i don't want him to be a liar i don't want my dad to be a liar so like i want to learn french one day just like be like no, no he, I, I do speak french you know even yeah. though he had passed so i wish i had done something like that like mm. like read books about like maybe like finance or something just like have like an idea you know for when i'm at 20 i'm almost 25 right now i'm at the age where like where like all these things happen you almost off my parents insurance all this stuff like things yeah. you don't know you know things like that it would be interesting to like i never cared it was like wrestling 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 wrestling, wrestling. pokemon wrestling pokemon wrestling yeah pokemon, you know? that was like, you, you mentioned pokemon. <laughs> reading books yeah. reading books you mentioned like, pokemon you have like the coolest card oh, yeah, yes. that, yeah. You, you said some some fan made it yeah yeah yeah. can we bring that down absolutely you want me to, you want me to grab yeah it? Um, he made one for me and his son. It's kind of cool. It's like legit, right? Sure, yeah, I'll show it. Does it feel like an actual card? Or is it just like... Yeah, I mean, it's pretty big it's, for an actual card. It's yeah. paper. It's not like the, the material of a card. Okay. Yeah. Let's see your stats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see if I'm any good, right? <laughs> Maybe OP. Yeah, I think, my... I think I think you got a 100% IV here. <laughs> so here we go. Six this, IV. Six, <laughs> this is the... Especially Pokemon card. Fireman's carry. I didn't even see that. How oh. cool is that? And then excuses are for wusses. Yeah. That's cool. No, guy was, it was really awesome when he sent me that. I He sent Man. me two. One signed for his son and then one for me to keep. And I was really, I was really, you know, V-Max. I mean, he went yeah. all out. The guy knows. And it's in Japanese a little bit too, which is pretty cool. So I, I was, I don't know. That was one of the coolest things I ever sent. I've always thought about getting like a P.O. box and like having it be public and see yeah. if people send me stuff. Dude, And I yeah. could sign it and send it back. I have like a hard time like. Because I get a lot of, I used to get a lot of mail, like the Carver, people like, hey, can you sign this, send it back? And like, oh, it would just forget it. And I, I, mean, I don't know. It's like hard when you constantly do that for yeah. like six years of trying to sign things and send people back. It's just like, Tom's always like, just don't, you know, just, it's okay, man. Like you did it, a, you did it a bunch and you're like a freshman, sophomore. It's like, yeah. yeah. You can't just constantly always be sending people stuff. You know, it's like taking time out of your day. Like you gotta have that edge of like, you know, <laughs> focus on what you need to do. You know, that's kind of yeah, how they are. That's so, true. Yeah. So, um. I want to touch base back on the U.S. Open. So, um, well, actually going into Final X, Zane Richards at your weight, he's he's the guy. Yeah, right? yeah, he won. Yeah, yeah. So, how do you think he's going to do at the World Championship? I don't know. Our weight's pretty dang tough, man. We got we got a lot of tough guys. You know, we got like Higuchi from Japan and, you know, Igoya from Russia. And then you got like Yatsenko from Ukraine. A bunch mm-hmm. of world medalists, the Mongolian. I mean, there's there's some tough guys. So, he definitely has a field you know, the year before the Olympics, these guys are trying to qualify their way for the Olympics by being a medalist, you know. Were you surprised that he beat Gilman? Oh, I mean, the thing is, anyone could win on a given day. I mean, obviously, mm. uh, Gilman should have been the favorite, being a four-time world medalist, you know, world champion, Olympic bronze, world silver, mm. t- twice. So, obviously, he's the favorite. So, yeah, of course, I was a little sharp surprised. It's not putting down Zane or anything. It's just yeah. that, like, you know, Gilman's beaten Zane before in the past, and um, this is the first time Zane's made the finals of, like, a world Olympic trials mm. or something like that. So... You know, he had a lot of, you know, adversity to overcome, and, you know, he did, so it's good good on him, you know, to be able to make that team be, be the four-time world Olympic medalist, so. How do you think he's going to do at Worlds? I have no idea, man. Like I said, the weight class yeah. is tough. Um, hopefully he, you know, medals for the country, you know, always cheer on him, but uh, end of the day, like, one match at a time, and he's got he's got to be at least four or five world medalists. Yeah. Olympic cha- world Olympic champs in his weight class, and Olympic silvers, and so definitely some tough guys to beat. You know, sure. like, like I said, the year before Olympic weight, the guys are trying to qualify the weight, so they're, they're, it's a big deal this year. So, mm. I saw this sick video on Flow Wrestling. At least I thought it was really cool. Of the, it was the Olympic team training together, but it was like 
or not the Olympic team, but it was all those guys training together. Yeah. And it was like Vito and Nation, and yeah. it was just like dream matchups. It was like all these guys wrestling together in a practice room. Who was like a dream matchup that you would want to wrestle? Uh, I wouldn't. Re- I would want to wrestle Kudikov. That's who I would want to wrestle. Uh, he's he's dead now, but yeah. he was like, he was like my like idol. Really? So, uh, oh yeah, he was so freaky athletic. To see Kudikov, yeah. Jeez. I love that guy. He's so fast. <laughs> <laughs> I would have loved to have felt it. One one thing that we talked about last year was that you really didn't do much lifting at all. It was mostly all body weight. Yeah. Is that remain true to today? Yeah. I mean, I don't need to do much. I need, I need to get back into that a little bit better. Um, it's just been hard with, like, uh, during season, it's hard to, like, keep that routine when you're yeah. competing every week. Yeah. You know? And then, obviously, like, then it was right into the Open, and then it was, like, you know, time off, trying to get healthy, and then it was, like, went to Japan. So, it's, like, very, you know, I'm, I'm getting back in the swing of things, so we're, we're getting back into it. Yeah, so that makes sense. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I heard on you know some prior podcasts you were talking about like you know how how really to make wrestling grow, and it was to keep it the simplest as possible. Yeah, it's the rules. Yeah, the, the rules, and you know we've seen the decline of just the national championships viewership just plummet alley every single year, and this year specifically when you had two guys going for four and it was the lowest, it clearly makes no sense yeah, just on paper. Bad. And you know we we you know we talked about people like you know what would be the best thing, and it would. De- like make wrestling either like probably later like you talked about Do yeah you th- definitely like you said because you, you said earlier um before we started about like staying away from like march madness yes because i mean it's true i mean basketball and football and women's basketball and men's basketball like those sports they bring in the numbers i mean yeah. caitlin clark iowa i mean she's like a superstar man i mean sure. she brings in numbers alone yeah you know, I mean, she brought in more numbers for her game than the men's team, like the men's basketball game, right? Seriously? Oh, yeah. Holy crap. You don't know who she is? I've heard her name. Oh, you know who she is. She, she's the one that throws threes from everywhere. Makes, <laughs> right? That's, that's Kevin Clark. She's a, she's a beast. She's awesome. Um, so, like, things like that. And then we're trying to compete with that, right? So, yeah, we really can't, you know? Yeah. So we How, how easy something. of a transition do you think it would be for all of wrestling, college wrestling, to switch? I think it'd be really easy. I mean, our season is so long. I mean, we go from like October to to yeah. March. It's a grind. Yeah, it's. I mean, you guys know. You guys are in college. It's not an easy easy thing to do. Yeah. So I mean, I don't think I don't think anyone would be opposed to having a shorter season and have it somewhere later or earlier or whatever. I don't think anyone would really be opposed. We're just gonna go wherever you tell us to go, and we're gonna compete. Right. Like, no, we're gonna true. try and win. If it's in February, March, we would say it's March is time to win because that's when the championships are. Yeah. If, if it was in April or. Yeah. June, July, August, it didn't matter. That, it'd be, yeah. Oh, July should months to win. That, that, that's, that's it. You just got to, like, make a change, probably. I mean, what I think is, I just think it's so stupid. If it is that easy, like, why don't we? And I think the more that we can talk about it and bring awareness to it and exposure, that it could be. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how that would work. Um, NCAA is a tough, tough uh, organization to have any changes of their mind, so... Mm. If something's how it is, that's probably just how it is. Yeah. Like, even well, if we brought it up, they probably wouldn't let us change it. That's a good point. And, so. it, you know, it was pretty crazy when that whole NIL got passed. Yeah. What was your – how has your experiences been with that? I mean, it was good. I mean, I, I mean, I had a lot of messages the first week, two weeks. It was kind of overwhelming. Um, my dad kind of dealt with all of that. He was he even took, like, two days off work um, <laughs> to deal with it. Yeah, because he had to call so many people back, like, every hour. He just really? wanted me to focus on training and whatnot, so – which is, it was like humbling, you know, because every company was trying to like, yeah. you know, I'm not saying they're offering me money or anything. They just wanted me to like promote their product. Sure. And post well, they see it. your value. And yeah. And you would, you, would, you know, understand. In like, Iowa and whatnot. Sure. Yeah. So I, I, I totally understood like, and it was, I mean, like I said, it was still humbling and cool to have like companies reach out and like want stuff. So, and I end up, I, I you know, get an agent, which is like very unusual for wrestling just because mm-hmm. like it was like someone that I knew and. He's a super guy. He's been super awesome helping out. You know, that's it's like weird when I say agent people because they're like, because you know, like I, it just it's just been nice because like he deals with everything. Like if there's any deals or anything, uh, contracts, whatever, they mm-hmm. can help with all that. So it's just been super awesome, and he's just been a great guy. Yeah. Kyle, he's, he's he's the man. So well, we know you've been supporting Rudis, and I, yeah. I thought those were hey dudes. No, but they're no, Rudis. these oh. are these are Rudis. See, they're Rudis. Man, that's never, crazy. Would, yeah, are they Rudis. not? Are they released? Or yeah, no? yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. I, I would have had never these known. for like a year, man. These are cool. Jeez. I wear them around the house. It's kind of funny because in Japan, you don't like, uh, 
there's like an area you don't walk you don't ever wear your shoes in the house like in in japan like that's like oh, super yeah, yeah. rude respect. so like you can wear sandals like uh in house only kind of thing uh-huh. so now they're like i don't know it's weird you like pick up like cultural things yeah. like when i walk home i take my shoes off i set them down like neatly then i put these on and walk around like so yeah. it's like <laughs> it's like Jeez. so it's kind of funny because i they were so strict like about like that you know yeah what's your favorite rudest wrestling shoe currently Oh, uh, yeah, I really like the Burroughs new shoes, and I like mm-hmm. the Colts, I think they are. Okay. Those are the two shoes I wear every day. Those are the ones I wear. I've um, worn the Colts, too, but our team captain stole them, actually, two years ago, so now he wears them. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> forgot about <laughs> yeah, those. That was... I was wondering, what shoe is that? And I was like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I wear the ones. black and gold ones. I wore the orange ones at the Open, Okay. Um, and then the Burroughs. Those okay. are my favorite shoes, for sure. And the, the red Burroughs just came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About yeah. That. They come in that... Big like the red wooden crate. <laughs> this is so and then it came burned. With hot sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The hot sauce. <laughs> we got the hot sauce right over there. Jeez. Uh, yeah. So pretty cool. Yeah. No, he he's the man. He's he's been nothing but awesome for Rudis. You know. Sure. Yeah, we love we love Jordan Burroughs. I mean, everyone does. Yeah. yeah. You know. What's it gonna take to get a Spencer Lee shoe? Uh, you gotta win the Olympics for that. Oh, okay. That's it. That's you have to. Yes. World championship. No, you could get That's, second. No, no, no <laughs> you got you gotta win. No, world championships aren't gonna do it. You gotta be Olympic champ. Really? Oh. Yeah, yeah. It's in my contract. We, we that talk, is crazy, yeah. dude. That, that's pretty dang cool if it's in the contract. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We, we, we talked with Bo Bassett a little bit about that, too. Yeah, have yeah, have yeah. you ever rolled around with him? Or? Nope. No? He was, like, he was like up to my, my hip when I knew him. Jeez. Well, no. We, when we were at his house, actually, we seen some pictures. And he was really small. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah he, was like, he was like very young. Too. Yeah. I mean, he's still young, right? He's like 14. He's a f- 16. He's a freshman. But he's like, a, he's, like, freshman? he's a held yeah. back freshman. Yeah. yeah, I, I know okay, so we, we, we put out yeah. a question on our stories and they had some questions. I know Keegan Bassett had a question. What was your favorite Young Guns memory? Oh, uh, actually, my favorite Young Guns memory, we would go to like Blue Mountain Duels or something like that. I can't remember. And we would wrestle Blair Academy. So back mm. in when I was like in seventh, eighth grade, Blair was like so good that like they could beat anybody. So we would like get this Young Guns team, but it would yeah. be like Chance Marsteller, <laughs> Connor Schramm, like all these like three time, four time state champs on this yeah. team. And I was in eighth or seventh. I think I was in seventh grade. They had like a 102 pound weight class. So they had me wrestle that. So I was wrestling the high school division as a seventh grader. Yeah. And my favorite memory was us beating Blair. Um, Cause it was like a crazy duel. Me. I mean, like, I remember like Anthony Ashton wrestled like Connor Schramm or someone. Like, there was a bunch of like big names back in the day. And like, like Chance had like a good match with someone. Like, it was just like we had all these like multiple, multiple time state champions <laughs> that weren't like young guns necessarily. Yeah. Like, half our team was probably young guns and half weren't. Um, because we were just trying to beat them, because yeah. they want every. I mean, dude, we could not get them. I and mean, our young guns was like really good back in the day. Like we had like fifty all like Division One All Americans, like just in our oh room. My God, probably like ten Division One national champs just chilling in our room, right? And we <laughs> couldn't beat Blair because not, not all of our guys did freestyle because this was a freestyle tournament. Okay, so I remember I was in seventh grade and we would go. And we ended up beating them, and it was like a crazy duel. It came down to like heavyweight. And our heavyweight was a, a young guns guy. He, was, like, he went to my high school as well. He wasn't like a, a world beater or anything. But, like, he ended up beating, like, a, like a ranked guy in the country, like, in a crazy close match. We all went nuts. It still came down to a wire, and we had, yeah. like, Team Pennsylvania versus Blair, you know? It was yeah. unbelievable how good they were. And that was, like, a cool memory just because I was in seventh grade. Like, I wrestled some guys that I don't remember. There's some guys that definitely wrestled in high school in the future that were, like, state champs or whatnot. But I was in seventh grade, and, you know, it was a kind of, like, a debut for me because, like, I was this, I mean, I've been this size for a long time. I wasn't like, I've been 5'3", I haven't grown much, you know. Mm. So it was kind of cool to like wrestle in high school divisions and like wrestle against guys that were like, weren't junior high because junior high was kind of, kind of a joke to wrestle for me. Because um, like in eighth grade, I took second at Super 32 in the high school division. Mm. I was like third in the country in the high school division. I was like an eighth grader or something. Well, because you were, you wrestled with some guys, college guys when you were in eighth grade, correct? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, it's only, I only trained with college guys, really. When I would, I would like go to different colleges and train with them. Like, I would always shock people because, like, I was this, like, little kid who looked, I mean, I was, like, 14, right? How was that possible that you're able to even, like, compete wait, as an eighth grader? Well, I was, college? like I said, I was big enough. So, like, oh, it, it okay. was, it, you know, I was, like, smaller, sure. but, like, and I would wrestle the 25 pounders, you know? The 25 pounders are not that big, yeah. you know? Yeah. The biggest are, like, 35, 40, right? Mm-hmm. And I was weighing, like, 15, 20 probably the biggest you know probably probably closer to like 112 but you know um but it was fun you know i'm not saying i was like beating everyone or anything sure. but i definitely uh <laughs> i definitely uh had some fun though doing that jeez yeah we put those out there because they get so bright it is bright yeah I, i'm like blind right now yeah tom i'm sorry i'm blind <laughs> <laughs> gotta start touching hands and fo- oh, you can only do that in folks though so you can't do that but uh oh, bo had a question too it was, uh, when did you start completely focusing on becoming a dominant 
top wrestler. In folk style, right? In folk yes, style? Yes, in folk style. I never really, like, folk style was never my priority. I, everything I do in folk style, if you watch freestyle, it's, like, the same thing. Mm. Like, when I drive on top, it's, like, similar to, like, you drive to a gut wrench, like a trap arm gut wrench. When I do my moves, you drive your feet and roll kind of like you would a gut wrench or a leg lace. So everything, like, was always freestyle. Freestyle was always, like, the focus. Yeah. It just, like, wrestling's wrestling. That's what Tom always says. You would know? you want college wrestling to become freestyle? I mean, I I think it's impossible to change. So, like, advocating for it's kind of a waste of your breath. Okay. So I think it's, like, a like, don't even bother. What like, about the three-point takedown? I mean, I think that's cool. I think uh, one of my big complaints always, you if you ever hear me talk about it, it's always that folk style benefits the lesser wrestler mm. because if I take you down five times and you escape five times and, like, you choose bottom, you escape and get one takedown. <laughs> it's, like, like it's 10-8. Yeah. Yeah. It's 10-8, to eight, but I have five takedowns and you have one. Like, that's, like, oh, the, wow. that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. Freestyle, <laughs> five takedowns, I tech followed you, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. they'd be like, oh, he got whooped, you know? Folk style, it's like, oh, 10-8, close match. <laughs> yeah. You know, that, like, I did was get out, right? So that was a big reason why I uh, focused on top. Yeah. Because you could score four points in a turn and not letting guys get a free point. Yeah. Just by you know being not being able to hold someone down, I was so it was like a big. My dad and me were that was what we trained. Do you think the biggest thing is grip strength for your turns? Oh, uh, probably yeah. I think I think it's like one. It's like putting effort into your wrestling on top. I think a lot of people think that like you have to you have to actually try. You have to actually like want to turn want the to guy. Be. Like you can't just sit there and like ride a guy and think you're gonna grab a wrist and like roll him. Like you like me like I am like I when I chop, it's not like trying to get the guy flat only. It's like I want his wrist. I want to turn him. I want to score points. You got to effort, like, you know, put effort into scoring points on top. The yeah. same effort you do on your feet, you got to do on top. Same with bottom. You know, you put the same effort in your wrestling in all three positions, you're going to be a good wrestler. That, you know? That's where I think I lack 110%. Yeah, same here. <laughs> well, like, I'm bottom. Well a, lot of guys, <laughs> well, a lot of guys, like, they get mad returned once or twice, you know, and then they go flat and then they're just like, sure, hey, they're yeah. in the same thing with top. Guy, you mad return a guy once or twice, they say him a third time, you just push him away. Like, I'll mad return you 400 mm. times. Like, you're not getting like, out. I, like, I, I, I hate free points. Like, that just frustrates me to no end. Yeah. Like, like, even if he, if he gets out, it's okay. As long as you're, like, on him and, like, you're grabbing him and you can yeah. stay on him. Like, that was, like, how Tom and Terry are. Like, just make it hard on the guy. That was, like, their big thing. So, Are, are you more of a guy who enjoys winning or hating losing? Oh, I hate losing way more than I like winning. That's for sure. Hundred <laughs> well, percent. Because last year when uh, we were doing the challenges and stuff, and I thought I was going to beat you dead to rights and walking on our hands. So I know. I think that's a pretty good strong suit for me. Uh, when, only in wrestling do I care. Oh uh, well, even that one. No, you beat me by a long shot. But I'm like, you hated losing that bad. Like you were just sprinting. <laughs> no, I, I, no, I can't. <laughs> but it is a video. You know? I guess it could be online everywhere. You know, you're going to give me crap the rest of point. my life. That is. Oh. Uh, <laughs> No, when we were on the way up here, uh, when me and Kras were talking about it, he's like, did he beat you in everything? I'm like, yeah, he did. <laughs> well, wait, this guy doesn't choose anything that he's good at. You know, he's like, oh, no bench, no, like, like well, no I mean, it, it, bench. He, he no. took the walk in his hands because he thought that was the yeah, one. That was, that was the one. That was the one. That's funny. I didn't walk in my maybe, hands in a while, Maybe I should challenge him to a match. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that'll definitely go better. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I don't want to fall away too far away from grip strength because you have, like, grip tester. Oh gosh! Should we pass that around? And see how far we get. Sure, if you want. I, I, I got it as a joke. Okay. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Wait. So it 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 puts a number of how strong your grip was, or what is? It? Yeah, kilos or or pounds, whatever you want. I prefer kilos, but that just. Yeah. What'd you, you get, big dog? Me? I think I think that I, don't, I think the highest I ever got was like maybe sixty or something. Sixty. Oh, God, dude. It's- Christ is gonna get up to twenty pounds. I just okay. So you just squeeze, yeah, yeah. yeah. You gotta want it. <laughs> you gotta want it. How high? Sixty-one point seven. Yeah, that's probably oh. higher than whatever I've gotten. I think the highest I've seen was See, sixty-one. That's hard. This is cool. That is hard. Wow, look at this machine, guys. <laughs> you get this off of Amazon or something? Yeah, it's actually Amazon I just saw a bunch of like uh, people on TikTok do it, like as like like a thing. So like, Wait. oh, do I have to reset it? Yeah, just click. Start. Quick start, yeah. All right. Dude, I might have to invest in one of these things. That's, that's cool. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think it's like hard because like, no way. <laughs> I got up to forty six. How are you getting sixty? <laughs> he's strong. He, he no, that's really strong. strong. I, he's gonna. Wait, I gotta try sure my other hand. I'm a lefty. I'm a lefty. For sure, beat me for sure. Oh wait, I was in kilograms. I was forty kilograms. I was kilograms. He was too. kilograms oh, too. Really? Yeah, his pounds would have been like one. <laughs> forty seven. Wait, let, let me do my left. Me Dude, my left. holy. 
The hardest part is you want like you want yeah, like yeah, use yeah. your body. I feel but you like you can't. I, yeah, it's all grip, right? So you have to just squeeze. Maybe if it. Oh man, dang it! <laughs> oh, this hand's way weaker. <laughs> oh yeah, like fifty or something. Fifty-four. So, yeah. so think about it. Spencer's dude, got that. Got the grip weak. strength of a one seventy-four. <laughs> no, I, 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 if I did it right now, I don't think I'd get higher than fifty-four, dude. Just like eighty, yeah, fifty-five point nine, not great. But, yeah, you know, we were one twenty-five. Yeah, yeah, there's the complete difference. <laughs> yeah, the highest I've ever seen me get was I think sixty. So you still got me beat, but Jeez. yeah. Now there are guys on here I've seen just they just like they just like break it, like they, they break the what? machine. The machine just says like like a bodybuilder or what? Like just random dudes like in the gym, like they'll just those are those like carpenters and uh, seriously like yeah, masonry yeah. guys. No, like the, the fifty, like fifty-five, fifty-six is not good, like. Really? No, like it is for like us. Yeah, yeah it's fine. But like, some of these guys, like I'll see, like they'll just like and they'll just break the machine. Like it'll just say like, error. Yeah. Like they're just blue collar dude. Seriously, like I'm, <laughs> no, I, that's kind of why I got it because I was like, how the heck are people getting errors on this? So I wanted to see like where I was at. It's kind of fun. But I think there's probably like some sort of technique or something you can do better. But you should, you guys should definitely get one of these. Yeah, we should. Yeah, your team. No, that's a great idea. I don't know if many people are going to beat you. Maybe your heavy, really? maybe your heavyweight could be. Right, yeah. Wow, think. you're just gassing Crosby up. Man, He's getting man. a big man. ego now. No, it's 60, 60 plus. That's that's good. Like if man. you're getting sixty plus, like you're strong, man. I wonder what uh, Corrigan would get because he's, yeah, he's really good. Every time. machine's different to you though, so like. Oh okay. It's all yeah, relative. That makes but, sense. Jeez. Who are you most ex- excited as a freshman coming to Iowa to compete? Freshman? Yeah. Oh gosh, I don't even think about that stuff. Um, freshman class. Do you know what, 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 what about your walk on? Your world champion walk on? Who? Keeter. <laughs> oh, <Ben. laughs> he's a walk on. No, walk- isn't he? Yeah, for wrestling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine how how unfair it would be if you had a bunch of people just like join other teams? take that team scholarship and then play football yeah that's why they yeah. do that the bigger well, no, the bigger 100%. program has to give the scholarship yeah not. he has a scholarship we know of course of, of course clearly yeah. so yeah he's a walk <laughs> but he has a walk but for, he has a scholarship yeah. for yes. football because that's yes. it's required to have a scholarship from the bigger program so it would have been funny if he was like a double walk on <laughs> double sports maybe just for the hype i don't know I, that's what a joke the guy's a freak that'd be a waste of <laughs> yeah he minds what he He's definitely worth his scholarship. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, but uh, that is funny. No, he he's a freak. Um, he's the only year of high school, right? No, he's he's coming in. Oh no, he's yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, Sorry, here for, he's, he's here. He's here for football. Yeah, right? he's in camp. Yeah, yeah. I know. So him, like Ryder, Block, a couple other guys. Um, Gabe Arnold. Yeah, right? Gabe yeah. Arnold. Yeah, yeah. Those are good names. It's just like in my head, I'm blanking. Like, yeah. They, well, these guys, they've been in the room for so long. They don't right. feel like freshmen to me. Yeah. I've seen Keeter for like a year training. Sure. Like, in our room. Same with like Arnold. Do you have any like crazy stories of what happens like when you're training? Like, I'm sure at times it gets like super intense. Are there like anything that stands out in your mind that was like. The only time I think it's crazy is if I wrestle the Santo. That's the only time it gets crazy. <laughs> Talk to me about the Santo because. That guy is hard to wrestle. He is just so his pace is crazy, man. Well, he bruised Vito's arm when he grabbed onto him. He was saying, in his match, in, in, in like the, the minute, in the one minute yes. match, yes, bruises. Wow. I mean, yeah, our armpits. I mean, he makes our, he makes your armpit bleed. So yeah, <laughs> oh, man. yeah, I'll, uh, my armpit will bleed every time I wrestle him. Yeah, is like, it like raw. a in practice? Is it still like a war? Like what you see of him in a real match? It's way worse in practice. Really? Oh yeah, it never ends. And a match, so, there's a time limit. There's like a finite time yeah, limit. In match, but in, in practice, practice, it's like, and like, you, you know, you gotta have some pride. Like, the thing yeah. is, he'll, he'll keep running at me, but like, the problem is, like, I wanna like walk off because I'm like dying because yeah. we've been going for so long. But like, you have to be winning to walk off. So, like, if, even if I was like winning and like, let's say he gets the last takedown, I can't walk off. Yeah. You have to keep wrestling. So then it gets worse and worse because it's like, um, that's like the word, that's how kind of our, our room works. Like, okay. you know, when we go live, like on our own. Like if you're winning, you can walk off, and nothing the other guy can do about it, kind of thing. So uh-huh. like with us, it's like a, we just keep going. He like because like the thing is, even like I said, even if let's say I was winning in practice, like mm. you know, um, if he's staying in the middle, I'm just gonna like I'm not gonna walk off. Like to me, it's like oh he wants to go again, so I'll just go again. But then if he scores, like then I have to go again yeah. because like he's yeah. not gonna walk off. So then it's like a constant. That's kind of how it happens. That's what that's what makes it. Tough. Have you guys ever been in a situation where it's like no one's gonna break? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah, we, we, we it's pretty fun. We've, I've had some stories. I don't even know if this was stories I can tell. We've definitely like, we've definitely, we definitely had some stories where like me and him have like, you know, we definitely got like, into it. Got into it, but like not like us. It's just it's, it's hard to explain. Like, like we're both so frustrated that like we both were yelling. Like I remember one time we were both so frustrated 
that like like I was like kind of I was kind of getting the better of him that day, and then he scored the last takedown, so I couldn't walk off. So then I get another one, and I was walking off, and Tom and Terry I don't remember who it was was like oh go again, and then he scored, so I lost it because I was like I should be done right. So then <laughs> yeah. I'm walking off freaking out, and he's freaking out because like I was winning the practice. Um, cause that's just, you know, you're competitive. Yeah. So to him, he was like losing the go, but to me, I got taken down twice. Like, so I can't walk off, but then I'm walking off cause I should have walked off like two times before that. Cause I was winning. Yeah. So then I'm freaking out and like, he's freaking out and we're both having like, kind of like a hissy fit and the whole room like stopped like watching us. It's just kind of funny because we're both losing it, you know. <laughs> but like we were, yeah, we had done it. It was a good practice. We were working hard. Yeah. It's like a, the team will like laugh about it because like uh, we had like guys like trying to hold him from leaving the room, and I'm trying to leave the room because we're both trying to just get out yeah. of it. We're so mad, and like guys are holding us back. The whole practice was like stop, dude. You know, Imagine, we're just like, like <laughs> that, we're, okay. That, that I know you guys don't allow any cameras in your room whatsoever, but yeah. that would be so motivating to oh see. My gosh. Like if you like. I don't know if it's motivating to you, but as a viewer, someone who can witness like how you know how successful you guys are and how into it you can get in within training. Wrestling is a training like none other. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. you have to do it to actually understand like what's actually going on. But oh, I would love to see just he's 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 a beast, man. The only person I think that has a pace that's like higher than his, but like it's hard to describe like a higher pace. But someone who's got a pace like that is like real woods mm -hmm. in practice, man. That dude just like pushes you around the mat forever. Well, cause you you said it in, in some podcasts that like he's like so good to wrestle. Like he's he's so crazy. hard to wrestle, man. He just pushes you around the mat. And like then he's so just strength? He's like I mean I bet his grip on that would be like sixty plus. I mean the guy's his hands are like as big as like Cassiope's. He's got like <laughs> big hands and he's so strong. He he tilts like me. He's probably better than me at tilting to be honest i just like uh i think i he's like he's a he goes on the right side he's like different he only hits one tilt i can hit like a couple okay so like he he's never like i don't know he's never really cared yeah he's always just he, he's just like so ten, he's a tenacity he's crazy man it's just so hard to wrestle because he just pushes you around but then he's so athletic that he's so quick so if you try and like get space it doesn't really benefit you well like, i remember last year you know yeah i remember in the when he was facing swiderski from iowa state he just on him the whole time and that got scrappy yeah and i was dude, like he, that he never will not stop down. no dude no, no 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 backing down is not in his nature there's no like bowing your head yeah like he is he is going to fight until like you quit like he will not stop that dude is a scary dude man <laughs> He's, yeah. he's got one I more actually year have to wrestle him today. Really? <laughs> it's going to be a tough one for me. But um, <laughs> He's got one more year of college, correct? Yeah, one okay. more, yeah, yeah. How do you think he'll do? I mean, he should have won last year. I'm not putting anything away from Aliris or anything, but you know, he got thrown, and I think the score was like 6-5. You know, he's down 6-0 yeah. or something. So I'm not saying that. I mean, obviously, the better wrestler won that day. Obviously, Aliris was the better wrestler. I'm not going to ever say that, and Rio would never say that either. Sure. Just in, I mean, he's my teammate. Yeah, you know? I get it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hope, you know. In my head, I think he was the best wrestler in the country. I mean, and, and I, after wrestling a couple of times, I, I just I think he's the best wrestler in the country. <laughs> but, really? Yeah, he's tough to wrestle, man. <laughs> he never stops. I mean, like, even DeSanto. You can talk to – if you ever get a chance to talk to DeSanto about him. Austin – because Austin, yeah. like, he's one of those guys who's like, I just got to be on him. I can, I can, you know, wrestle with anybody. Yeah. But, like, with real, he's like, oh, he's hard to wrestle. Like, <laughs> really? Even, yeah, even having Austin say that, it's like, it's like I'm telling you, man, wrestling not, real in practice is hard because he is a – he's a bear, man. He's just on you. And he's and then he's so athletic. He's hard to finish yeah. on. He's got crazy balance. He's super strong. It's like, yeah. where's the weakness, you know? That <laughs> is <laughs> crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So – I've had some guys that come across on practice a couple times. The what? It's like cheese always on me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It gasses yeah. me out sometimes. Yeah, we always do like uh, if we end practice like in a tough way, then there's always just that one guy that will come up to you like best, best of five. Yeah, best <laughs> best of five. yeah best we're, of we're like cooling down, stretching. Best of five. <laughs> 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 I gotta get up. Gotta yeah, go. Yeah. Yeah. It's like after the cool down's done. Yeah. It's like, it's like come <laughs> That's on. Good, dude. <laughs> That's a way to get hurt. Yeah. Um, but uh, no, no, yeah. So it's fun watching him and Austin Russell's fun because, like, real kind of, like, you know, gets the better of him. Um, but, like, they both run at each other. So, like, Austin will keep getting up, keep going up. But, the, but then Real's pushing him around. So it's like Austin Man. will get up and try and run him, but he's getting pushed backwards, you know. Cause, yeah. So it's like, it's like you know, and then, then they're just all around the room because, like, they both won't stop. And they'll never, like, take a break, Yeah. either of them. So it's like a two-hour practice of them just trying to kill each other. Because, yeah. like, Real will not walk off until, like, you're, like, laying on the ground, basically. Cause then I'll be like, I'll give you, I'll give you a break so we can get a better go next go. You know, <laughs> damn, <laughs> wow, yeah, jeez, you know, um, it's tough, man. Yeah, he's 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 a freak, man. Dude. Well, uh, DeSanto, I gotta say, has got to be the most mysterious guy. Yeah, he in all is. of wrestling, he, 100%. He's, he's mysterious to us too. Really? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, I'm one of his best friends, but like, he, he's one of those guys. He's like me. We kind of stay to ourselves. 
kind of loners. Well, you know, in the in the wrestling practice. world, you see that with guys all the time. They're not having that social presence. Yeah, well, you got to give up something if you want to yeah. be good. Same point. So, what would you say Austin's like in person, like day to day? He's just he's very quiet. He's very you know he's methodical, very routine oriented, um, very dedicated. You know, he has meals proper time. You know, gets up, goes to practice early, gets ready for practice. Like he 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 does it right. You know, he does a good job. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, he's very dedicated. So. What are the odds that he would be down to do a podcast? <laughs> very, very, very low. <laughs> yeah. we, we, we talked to Keeter about it. He's like, I'll ask, but I'll like, I he'll go, no. <laughs> no, he, he, he doesn't, I don't think he's comfortable with this kind of stuff. Sure. Like even okay. when we would do stuff with Iowa, he, he was like, he doesn't really like being in front of cameras and stuff. I see. Yeah. He's a, he's a pretty good talker, but when you put a camera on him, he kind of like, yeah, kind of like doesn't like it, you know? Makes sense. He said that he's a, uh, Keeter said he plays Fortnite with him. He's a gamer. And I was me. very Austin's surprised to hear that. Austin's really good at video games. Really? He doesn't play much anymore, but it's probably been two years since he's, like, played. Oh, okay. Really, but he, he's he's so funny. He's, like, so meticulous with things in his life. It's, like, for gaming. Like, I don't know if you've ever seen someone, like, swipe on a mouse pad, like, super oh, yes. far. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Right, so he, like, measures his mouse pad. You know? <laughs> so, like, when he swipes, it's a perfect 360. Oh, so he'll, wow. he'll just be going like this, and he'll just be 316, and he'll, like, kill people while he does Dude, it. Dude, he's probably so good. Oh, <laughs> no, he's, he's really good. No, <laughs> no, like, I, I, when I say he's good, like, I'm not, like, hyping him up right now. He's actually really good. And it, but he'll, like, he'll, like, it's so funny. We, we love making fun of him because, like, he'll, like, swipe, and he'll be like, oh, it doesn't feel right. And then he'll, like, measure, he pulls ruler, and he'll be measuring, like, mark, <laughs> mark it on his mouse pad, make sure it's the perfect sensitivity. They'll change his sensitivity by, like, 0.0111. He'll be like, okay, now it feels good. Like, Man. so we always make fun of him because, like, I'm, I'm, like, I don't play any shooters, yeah. so I'm terrible at any shooting game. And then my other buddy, Anthony, he's, like, we're, like, the two guys who are quite closest to, to Austin. He's, like, really good at every game, mm-hmm. Anthony is. Um, and like he'll make fun of Anthony or Austin because uh, Anthony doesn't do anything meticulous or anything like that. And then Austin's like the perfect, like gotta be perfect, gotta you know. Yeah. yeah so, and he grew up to be Booga, the greatest Fortnite player in the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man. Well, I, I know you were asking about that band right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we, we so confused <laughs> for a second. Yeah, those, those, those are the Dopaminio bands. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. they do a lot of work with, um, you know, a lot of wrestlers. Uh, especially like foreigners worldwide. do it. Yeah, yeah a, lot a lot of foreigners. foreigners. They, 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 yeah, they just yeah, open yeah, up yeah. a gym, actually. Um, but we have a challenge for you. So are you ready? Are you, yes. Are you ready to stretch your limits? Oh, God. <laughs> it's called Break the Bolt. Now, I, I don't even, I don't think I have that tough one. But this, well, I, I don't know. If like you'll be the one to break this. You break the bolt, you get a hundred bucks. I have to rip it. Yeah, I have you, to you break can. A you band? can put it under your feet. You can do whatever. I'm not gonna rip this. Do you no. see this thing? Hundred dollars. Yeah, it's life changing money. Dude, if you we, can break we've, that. We have, we have, get it. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> it's so thin. You got it. <laughs> it's impossible. Ah, <laughs> uh, you like this? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, we. Oh have, my gosh. Oh my! No way! No way! You could go, get go, it. go, 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 go! Ah. Oh, dude! Man, you, you were close. Oh my gosh! I actually think you could do that. If... Look at my thinking. maybe. Oh, dude, we we've had guys who can like deadlift four hundred five that do that. Oh. Not hasn't been breaking. Oh dude, God. that but, was I think the closest it's been. Yeah, I, no, Ooh. I think I think you definitely have a record. Feel my pinky. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, you. Oh, that the lettering is already. Oh, dude, you, look at his pinky. <laughs> Dude, the lettering is coming off. Yeah, dude, it was like completely. That was wild. the best effort we've seen. Well, Ooh. Spencer, don't feel bad because no one can break it. Um, but we do have a gift bag for you. Oh, thank you. So thank you. here you go. <laughs> You'll get the bolt band, the stretch band, oh, cool. and a thank full size dopamine band. There we go. Yes, and a full size band. But Hopefully my pinky goes back to normal. Yeah, Dang. seriously, <laughs> dude, your shoe is like completely bent inwards too. <laughs> <laughs> stay, oh my god. Stay strong. Stay true. Well, do you have any? Last segment of our show. Yes. Fun facts. Any oh, fun. It could about, be about me? Any, anything. anything. Oh, I'm terrible about that. Oh God, put me on the spot like that. No, I don't really have that many. I mean, I like I said, I pretty much been doing the same stuff. I mean, I love reading books, read a lot of fancy books. Mm-hmm. That was like all I grew up doing. I didn't play video games until I was like 14 or 15. Really, all I did was play Pokemon on like a DS. Mm-hmm. So like. Well, I, I'd say a fun fact, if you can't think of one, is you go to Madison for the a Pokemon oh, yeah, event, the right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, went, I went three years in a row, so I used to drive up to Madison, Wisconsin to play in a, it's called a regional tournament, okay. so there's like different level of tournaments. This is like the second biggest you can go to as like a Pokemon yeah. tournament. My bracket was like 400 people. 
Yeah, Jeez. it was big. I think I took like 31st or something. You played like in person? Like, you, yeah, you play in dude, front of a dude. Sick. And you have to like, that's yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This, seriously. It was, it was kind of tough. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I was like eight rounds. And every game's like a chess match. Yeah. That's how Pokemon is. It's like a chess yeah. match. It's we like, got to know what, what his attacks are, how much health you got, how many moves four. you got. It's like four Pokemon versus four Pokemon. You have six, you choose four. And you have yeah. to like pick based on their teams, like a matchup thing. And you don't know who they're playing? No, until you until the game opens up. And then all of a sudden, there are six Pokemon show up on your screen. And oh, you're wow. six on his. And you pick oh. your four against it. And it's like a best two out of three. Yeah. And it's like the games can take a long time. So like once the, like I remember the round would be over. And I'd go, I get like ten minutes and next time next opponent. And then you go up and it was like it was like eight it was like eight hours of like holy crap of like Man, Pokemon. Yeah, no, I was like it wasn't like hard, you yeah, know, yeah. like because we have tournaments that are way longer. Yeah. But like <laughs> that's that's yeah. gonna be pretty it was fun. pretty mentally tough. I was like, this is I can see why this is hard. Like I, I had a good time. I met a lot of good people and yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Man, that's cool. I have a great fun fact. Let's hear it. About me? Well, I kind of, kind of. We're all, it's well related in this. So I came up with this question for a discussion, with, like we were talking oh, about yes. questions. And I said, I have a great question for when we have Spencer on. This was like early yeah, on. Yeah, this was before started. the podcast. Yeah. And I said, I want to ask Spencer, how many weight classes in Division Three of the Division Three <laughs> champs that question. could he beat? <laughs> yes. And then, but but no, it continues. It continues. It's not the... I asked uh, Yanni that question when we went to see him. And he, he gave, like, a answer. He said, there's no way I could beat the Division Three heavyweight. <laughs> and so I posted on Instagram, and it got so much yeah, hate. Yeah, Cros- too. Crosby got roasted hard. So much hate. It's like, you guys are D2, and you're roasting D3, guys. It's oh, like, no. It's like, dude, we, but, we did not mean but it like we, that. We, we meant that just as, like, it's just an interesting question. At least for us, maybe not anyone else. Yeah. But I, you could have said D2 and D3. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's just, you don't. It's hard. I would say D3 is like almost that. more relevant. Than D2. Well, there's more schools. No, I, I think so. There are more so, schools in D3 than D2. Exactly. So yeah, when you think of schools. you think of a Division One school, and then it's like, oh, D3. You don't really think, oh, there's a Division Two in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like I, just, I, I thought it just made that. sense for the question. Yeah, no, I, you know, I, uh, my dad used to work at Co College, it's a Division Three school, it's like top ten every year. They're pretty sure. good. So and those guys, those guys can wrestle, man. Those guys are tough. I lie. Those guys are. I, mean, I, I just go up and watch sometimes. You know, mm-hmm. they know how to wrestle. I mean, yeah. the, there's no, I don't ever downplay. Yeah, any national champ in any division, so I yeah. would never answer that question. Yeah. I think that's no, I don't blame you. After, I, the, I, after I, that, I don't I've always won. I've always wanted to wrestle the other champs. Like, yeah. Well, um, what do you think about every two, every, three, and like NAI? I've always wanted to have like a round robin wrestle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be kind of fun, you know. But I think that would be fun. That's it'd be a cool. Maybe. It'd be a cool event to have, you know. Yeah, hundred percent. I think it, there needs to be cooler wrestling events like that. 100%. Yeah, I think that'd be fun. I think that's cool. You know, just because like. uh it's an opportunity that those guys might never get to wrestle like the Division One guy because we don't really go to many tournaments. Mm-hmm. The only time they may be able to wrestle would be like Midlands or something. I remember yeah. my freshman year, there was like a two-time Division Three national champ at Midlands, and he wrestled Glory the mm-hmm. round before, and Glory beat him like 10-0 or something. But Glory was like, that guy was tough, man. Like the guy was like, it was like a scrap. You know, well, Glory yeah. like took him down, like turned him, and then it was like a battle the whole time. Like, yeah. So it was like kind of, like, to me, it was like fun because I was like, you know, that's a champ, right? Like sure. that's someone with a lot of pride and someone who yeah. put a lot of time and effort into their craft. You yeah. Know? Well, you think at uh, Shinhoster, 184, he's a D3 from Whitewater in Wisconsin. He actually got second at Midlands. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, pretty cool. I love seeing that. I think they should compete at more stuff like that just because, like, I think people look down on those divisions yeah. a lot. And, like, you never know what's with those people. It might be close yeah. to home. might be the only place they can go. Yeah. You never, It'd be you know? cool to see them intermingled. That's so, for sure. Yeah, I absolutely. think that would make wrestling more enjoyable. For and sure. I think, I, you know, I just think more wrestling is better always. That's so. a great point. So I think it's... No problem. You know, I've always loved that stuff. So, and, yeah. I, and I've always, and I, I've always offered to co and stuff like go up there and like train when I was in summer and whatnot. And yeah. I stole some of the guys and whatnot just because, like, you know, I don't care. Wrestling's wrestling. You yeah. get better if you want to get better when you're in the room. You know, that's true. It doesn't matter about your partners. You got to like have that mindset of getting better. So that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. I just got one more thing before we, sure. Because I just thought of this when we were talking about more events. Yeah. And there's like the whole thing this past season where it was like, is Spencer going to bump up to wrestle RBY? <laughs> and RBY said, well, I want to make some money if we're going to do that. Yeah, yeah, that's funny. Is that still a possibility? I, I well, not right now, no. Oh, but yeah. uh, um, I'd, I'd wrestle him. I think he's a freak. I'd love yeah. to wrestle him. I'd love to just practice with the guy. Yeah. I don't have to like, have a match if he really doesn't want to. You know, I don't care. I'm not like a guy who's like, oh, anyone, anytime, anywhere. You know, I don't care. Like, I'm just trying to get better, you know. I think yeah. he's someone that can make me better. So, um. I'd love to wrestle him. I think he's he's a good dude, um, and I'm sure he'd love to wrestle me just because we've never wrestled. Yeah, yeah. Always been, you know, different just weight classes way, yeah. and different. You know, um, yeah, they were like they were like 
people were like, start the weight class, start at 41 against Penn State. I'm like, I'm, not, I'm not popping up. Like, was there talks of it? No. <laughs> Nothing, really. No. Dude, it's all, yeah. That was all, Everyone wants that was all fans, Dude, I was man. convinced you were going up. <laughs> That's crazy, man. And not one time did we talk about it. I remember, like, I made a joke to Tom, like, I would go up if you want me to. And he looked at me and goes, come on. I'm like, all right. <laughs> you know? I was like, if it would help the team, like, sure. And yeah. he's like, he's like, he's like, just do your job. Okay, Tom, I Damn. got you. You know? Like, <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, so... Cause like I, I'm the kind of guy if they wanted me to, sure, but it wasn't really something that we talked about. Yeah, I kind of okay. like made a joke about it because I kept hearing about. It. I was like, I'd never heard this in my life. Like, has anyone <laughs> ever really bumped up? The only time I heard about it was like maybe was it Seth Gross and Bryce Meredith? Meredith? Yeah. yeah, that was the only time. But like, damn. Yeah, I didn't. I never. I never talked about. It. I'm sure he was kind of like, what are people talking about? Yeah. Like, he, as I saw like a video of him getting interviewed by like the Penn State interviewers yeah. asking him about. It. He was like, oh, if he wants Russell, sure. Like, yeah, of course. Yeah, he'd be okay with yeah. it. Like, I'm the little guy bumping <laughs> up, you know. Like, yeah. he would, I mean, it wouldn't benefit us probably. Even, let's say if I'd say somehow I did win. I don't think it would have benefited us. I don't, we, we didn't even have a backup 25 pounder to send. Really? No, so it would have been like a forfeit, and then the, we would have wow. six to three, yeah. we'd be losing. Like, that's if I do beat Robin, which is like, you know, a very, very like hypothetical situation, obviously. You know, I'm bumping up. He's a two time yeah. national champ. The guy's really, really good. You know? Super match. Yeah, it, would, yeah super match. it wouldn't have benefited yeah, us. That's the that, only yeah. way you can beat Penn State. I kept seeing that. I'm <laughs> that's going, true. What are I've you guys that's, talking that's about? That's why I was convinced. I didn't Blew actually do the mind, math. dude. I well, never did the math. Th- I was it would have been a convinced. decision. Teske got cradled and pinned with like. Oh, six almost, seconds yeah. left or something. Oh, yeah. So the score would have been five three, us. Yeah. If he didn't, he kind of just kind of got you know he he like took a shot and like just yeah, trying to crazy. score you know the score was like eight to three or something. So like we would have been winning you know so yeah everyone's like see if you had bumped up he wouldn't have got pinned I go but then we give up six at twenty five like oh. <laughs> and if I do lose now the score's nine yeah. zero or ten, I mean, majors me or so you never know like yeah. how wrestling yeah. works you know so it's like. I was like, people are. Crazy. Tom was just laughing. Yeah, because they're people. He goes, they know everything. They know everything. <laughs> they have. They have the solution. Uh, you know, <laughs> that's that's awesome. that's that cracks you. I forgot all about that. <laughs> but yeah, because it, it wasn't. It wasn't a rational like. It would never happen. I mean, that, not in that situation. Not in that no. situation. Right. You know, I mean, if we wrestled at like a catch weight or something at like some event, like yeah. maybe it's possible. But uh, during season, like when there's like so much on the line and. Nah, it just didn't make any sense. Going up eight pounds, like, yeah. yeah. No, that makes sense. That's goofy. That you like, I was convinced. Dude, I, <laughs> dude, social media, it's, dude, dude it was they, they were everywhere. talking. I was laughing. I go, they're going to be so disappointed when we started 25 and I run out there and it's 25 <laughs> me, you know. When I saw the, the RB, when RBY said, like, I'll do it and get paid for it, I was like, come on, dude. Well, because, I mean, to him, it's a super match, right? Yeah, no, you it know, makes yeah. sense 100%. I was just like, I just was convinced it was happening. Then when I saw that, I was like, damn. Nah, it's all. I mean, <laughs> it hyped up yeah. something. I guess that's cool. Maybe there's more eyes in that match for some reason. I don't yeah. know. It's, yeah. a, it's a big match, anyways. Iowa, Penn State. You know, always gonna be a lot of eyes on those two. Big rivalry. Oh yeah. So man, well, this has been fun. Thank you for this opportunity. Yeah, yeah thank we, you. we have we have a custom plaque for you actually. Oh yeah. Holy crap! Yes. I forgot about this. So we got the custom Clash of Combat number sixteen. Oh, the sixteenth. Sixteenth one. one. So that's pretty cool. And it comes with a nice little stand. Shout out to Superman. Shoe shot. <laughs> You can put that right in front of all your NCAA trophies. Uh, so, so at my parents' house, <laughs> I don't have any any awards here, really. Oh, really? Well, maybe it'll oh, be that, nice to your Pokemon, is, uh, your Pokemon card. What is oh, that? Oh yeah, it says Soldier Salute. One twenty-five. It's oh, oh, funny I have that here. I try and give all my stuff to my parents. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like having awards here or any pictures of myself or anything. <laughs> I hate that. It <laughs> seems so egotistical, you know? Like, imagine walking in and you see, like, six pictures. Uh, oh, yeah. You picture yourself flexing. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. seriously. Like, like a like, full body. All my yeah. trophies the marble and statue. Stuff. <laughs> no, seriously, dude. I couldn't even imagine trying to be that fool yourself. <laughs> Man. I would be so disappointed in myself if I was like that. Man. No. Well, <laughs> I've, 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 to me, it's like I haven't done anything yet, so. That's what I always say. Well, we're excited for the future. Thank you for this opportunity. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks, guys, for driving up here. I appreciate it. Thanks. No problem.